Now I'm going to shift A, mesh, circle, and I want it to have 22 vertices. Go into edit mode, deselect everything, and then border select this much so that I have three vertices on each side of the center one. I select these, heat extrude, and pull them up, and scale them in the X a little bit. Sort of following the contour of this. Take this one, heat extrude, pull it down, just like that. Come out, add modifier skin. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to go into wireframe and I'm going to scale and start trying to match the diagram the best I can. That's pretty close. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to go into edit mode and have a look at this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some edges, or at least get rid of this edge. X. No, what did I do? <laughs> X dissolve edges. And um, you know what? In reality, maybe I'll mirror this. I like this side, so I'll just put a loop cut there. I'll go into wireframe and uh, the vertex. And I'm going to border select all of this delete those vertices I'll add a mirror and I'll turn on clipping and I'll apply that mirror and I'll go back in and in edge selection I'll shift alt and click that edge and we'll dissolve that edge so we've got that okay and now I'm going to add modifier subdivision surface go for two in the viewport and shade smooth this is what we have so it's not exactly the same but it's going to be fine back in edit mode I'm going to um, I think I'm going to actually extrude e to extrude and pull down a bit it's the length in that a bit and then I'm going to uh, get rid of that face and we're going to get rid of these faces as well so we'll have that so in this stethoscope uh, model I'm going to have uh, my tubes come out of here all right so uh, we'll do uh, we'll do this one first so in edge selection I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and shift s cursor to select it and I'll come back into object mode and I'm going to uh, my 3d cursor is right there I'm going to bring in a curve shift a curve path I'm going to rotate z90 and go into edit mode and bring it down like this and grab this point G and pull it up just move all these points around a little bit I'm just clicking on the point and moving it and select that point hit E and G to go or grab or whatever select it again E E E I'm just pulling along each time and then I'm clicking on it pressing G E will come up to about there. Let's uh, have a look at that. Okay, it's not quite there, so now we'll just refine the curve. That's pretty close to what I need, so I'll come over the curves and scroll down to our geometry under bevel. And I'll just start pulling that up a little ways, looking underneath. I'm also going to look over here uh, at this part here. So I'm going to make that a little bit thicker. And uh, I'll stop and I'll take this, go into edit mode, and I'm going to come over to modifiers and click that. So I see my subdivision surface. I'm going to click there and I'm going to go E and S and I pull in until it touches there. And I'll zoom in and I'm going to put another edge loop right about there and widen it out. So I can a little crisper. Let's try that. So it would look like that. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Let's come up here. I'm going to select one of these edges. Actually, I'm going to select both of these edges. And I'm going to go into uh, individual origins. And I'm going to press E and S. And I'm going to bring them in like that. They don't have to be closed. And uh, I'm going to come out of that for a moment. 
I'm going to bring an edge loop here and an edge loop over here. There we go. Okay, so I get that. Okay, cool. I'll come back in. I'm going to shift alt and click that edge loop. Shift S. Cursor to select it. We'll look back on the top there. In object mode, shift A, uh, curve, path. Once again, rotate Z90. And then I'm going to rotate uh, in the Z again, just to sort of try and get it to fit. I'm going to scale it down as well. And I'm just, I'm just going to G and move it like that. Let's go into edit mode. I can even go into wireframe just to see where things are. Okay, cool. Grab this end and start pulling it up. I'm going to hit E to extrude, come around E, and then we'll try to match the curve as best we can. Yeah, that's, that's looking a little bit weird. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, not quite liking that. That's pretty good. Let's try uh, making that a bit thicker. Uh, where are we? Uh, okay. We'll go for something like that. Let's get back to the solid view. Okay. Now we'll try a little smaller than that. Okay. Um, just have a look at this and decide if we like it. I can take that now, I can bring it back a bit. All right, good enough. Select that point, Shift S, cursor to select it. And now I'm gonna bring in uh, another regular circle. 22 vertices is fine. Go into edit mode, scale it down. I want it a bit wider than this. Let's rotate this around the Y, rotate Y90. And the orientation will be a little funny, but just look at that. Now we can scale it more. Okay, now. So for this, what I'm going to do is, well, we can go ahead and, nah, I'm going to do it this way. Uh, let's pull it back a bit. Do it from about there. E to extrude, can come out until I see the circle there. E and S will come out and we'll pull it out a bit. E, come out like that. E. And I'll scale it down. And then I'll hit the period key, look at look at like this E and S, I'll come down like that. Okay. Put one more edge loop there, and I'm just gonna hit S and pull out. And I'm gonna close this off. So shift alt and click there, E and S, just pull it in like that. Uh, deselect that, so I'm gonna alt A and select there, control B, we'll bevel this with one, and let's come back out. And let's try modifier subdivision surface of two and object shade smooth. I mm. think it needs another edge loop here just to give a bit of definition to the earbud part. All right, that's all right with me. Um, but what I'll do is I'll take this shift, uh, not that, shift alt and click, shift alt and click that edge, and I'm just going to extrude it in a little ways. And I'll, I'll do it. Do one of these. All right, that's all right. Okay, now looking from the top, let's just uh, rotate this in the Z until it lines up nicely. Good enough like that. And I can take this and I can switch over to normal and push it back a little ways. So, so I have a little bit more room. Make sure I go back to global just in case. Now I'm going to take uh, this and this, Shift D. I'm going to rotate Y 180. And I'll just move it in. And I see that we had some funny stuff going on there. I don't know why. But uh, that's the way it is. Well, I'm an individual origin, so that's why. Perhaps. Uh, that's okay. Uh, let's have a look at this though, and I might want to rotate this, rotate this in the Z a little bit, just to sort of make it match the contour, so I'll just bring that back there, it doesn't have to match the diagram perfectly, and I'm going to do the same, rotate Z here, straighten it out, and G, and 
and let's just have a look at that. Okay, so... Yeah, this one maybe needs to come over. Say first time with 2.8, and uh, all right, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna select over here this point here, shift S, cursor selected for that, and then I'm gonna bring in that same circle and bring it over here roughly and scale. The diagram's a bit weird, so. Not my modeling, right? <laughs> All right, E to extrude, bring it up. E and S to about there, maybe. E, bring it up. I want a good enough distance for this to fit. So I'll go with that. E and S come out, not quite as much. E and up. E and S in a little bit, and then E and S until we have just a hole, and then pull down. And then I'll come in E, and I'll come down a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to need some uh, edge loops on this. So Shift Alt and click those edges. Actually, before I do that, uh, Shift Alt and click there, E and S. And then I'm going to grid fill. Where's that mesh? Face, grid fill. And I'm going to choose two. All right. Okay, select those edges. B, pull back, and it's already got one in there, so that's fine. Okay, and we'll come out, and we will do subdivision surface of two, and object shade smooth, but we need to do some work, so go back in to an edge loop here, and here, and here, and maybe there, and that's probably okay. And, um, now we'll look from the side, we'll take this and pull it down, so we can use this as a guide, although it's not the exact same thickness as this, I don't think, but we want to be able to fit something in there, so back to here, Shift A, Mesh, Circle, same thing, Rotate X90, uh, Scale, yeah, actually I should have thought about the fact that I needed a bit wider than this, let's uh, need to extrude and bring it out. scale that down a bit. Um, let's uh, shift alt and click on that. There. E and S to close that off like that. Okay, and then that little bevel. We got one there. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'll do subdivision on that. Might as well. Why not? Is that enough? It's probably enough anyhow. Let's look from the top and let's uh, rotate this in the Z. I can switch to uh, normal on this guy and it might make it a little bit easier. And then I can take this in normal and I can push it in. And then. I'll go back into global and take this guy. And I can just scale him global. Well, maybe I'll scale in the Z. Let's do that. Just moving it in ever so slightly. Okay, I'm not crazy about where that attaches. And so um, I feel like I want it there. Coming straight in. I mean, am I nuts or what? Um, I'm 
be able to just scale this globally a little bit. And I might also be able to knock this down. That might be a little nicer, nicer looking. Okay, and that's the basic uh, thing right there. Uh, you could uh, do some more work uh, putting those uh, little rubber pieces uh, around it. I think I think you generally get the idea though as an experiment in uh, in 2.8 cool all right well that's that